What's up guys, so today I'm going to be changing out this uh, constant torque motor. Let's see that Anyways, um, checked out the board, the board checked out fine. Um, the motor module's bad. It's a weekend and uh, they're trying to get this place in the market so I'm going to be replacing it with a capacitor motor and installing a relay and everything. Unfortunately I don't have my head mount camera. So I won't be able to film it as I'm working but I'll film the, the uh, sections I guess as we go on but uh yeah we're gonna be putting in a relay anyways we're gonna be putting in this relay we've got a capacitor and then our motor so we're gonna put that in here so it won't be a constant torque anymore it'll be a uh, split capacitor motor and instead of using the board to switch low voltage, we'll be using that relay to switch high voltage, so that's what we're going to do, so we can get them up and running on a weekend. Somebody's used dye in here before too, I mean, it didn't show up on camera, but is that a leak at one time? We'll have you know. We'll check that out. Alright, so it's been a couple of minutes, I got the uh, old motor out here, I'm ready to open up the new one and install it into the housing here. I'm working. I don't know if you can see how much this area sucks at work, but I gotta work between this truss here and I can't sit there because the drain pan's there and then there's duct work, so I have to like <laughs> keep myself leveraged here to work in this area. It's kind of hard. <sighs> the joys, at least this is an attic I can stand straight up in. This haven't I haven't been in one of these attics in a long time. Usually I'm bent over or having to crawl through, so this is kind of a treat. Yeah, it's only about 90 degrees this morning right now. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get the new motor in, and probably the next clip I'll show just the motor slid in, and we'll start mounting the cap and relay, and then wiring it up. Motor in place, it's all wired up. Got the cap uh, secured. Got all my wires zip tied and stuff. Um, we're running it on medium speed, and there's our relay back here. Um, I got the power going in. Oops, I got the power going in on six. Right there, the black wire coming out on four. Um, that'll stop this leg right here from being hot and nobody can get zapped. I don't have to put a cap on it, that kind of thing. Um, using this green wire here for my 24 volts and then I'm using that brown wire as our common. And I was actually able to utilize the plug from the original motor for power, so that made things a little easier. But there's our relay, capacitor, new motor. And I did cap off this tap here because the board is still good, so it was still supplying 24 volts through this leg here. But I just capped it off. So, that's... buttoned up the amperage and the cap look great um, left a little note for the next guy up here we installed this new motor today and I left the uh, little spec sheet for the motor on the box screwed it to the unit just cut it off the box that way they know what they're dealing with because I hate when I get to a retrofitted motor and uh, I don't know what the amperage is and I gotta pull it I gotta pull the motor housing out and everything just to see what it actually is rated for so I'll make sure my checkups are good so I've gotten into a habit of doing that. Anyway, so uh, grab my trash and we're gonna head out of here. <laughs> 